you're watching Adventures in Motorsports. It's way too cold because obviously we're not in Florida. Stay tuned. the North American International Auto Show uh, here in Detroit. Uh, that's the reason why we're here in the Great White North. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm here for work and I work in live event production. Uh, I'm working the Infinity booth this week. Being a video engineer, my responsibilities include setting up the cameras and the video switching equipment and we basically have a mobile TV show is what we're setting up. And because I had a little bit of downtime during the press day that we're here for, uh, I figured I'd go out and show, show you guys some of my favorite cars here on the show floor. So let's go uh, take a look around. R8. Um, steering wheel looks like something out of a video game. It's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Uh, there's lots of buttons, dials. Yeah, that's the reason why this is a hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> uh, feels great. Um, actually, the Type R seats felt a little more snug than these do. I'm surprised. But then again, they're probably building it more for comfort than they are um, pure sport. Um, I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a, a moron that likes cars. So in case you're ever wondering. In an R8, that is tether, uh, top tether, for your baby seat. So if you're taking the kiddo out for a spirited drive, well, Audi's got you covered. This is the Alfa Romeo 4C, uh, and this is the 4C Spider because it's got the removable top. Um, I saw one of these on the road a while back and I had to look it up because I had never seen one before. They look really cool going down the road. They're uh, very, very much a supercar look. Um, I think he, this one starts, I think the, the non-Spider uh, version starts at like 55 and then I think this one's like 65,000. So they do, a, they're, they're really re relatively reasonably priced for that look of a supercar. Um, I will say the side bolstering for me, I'm a bigger guy so it's a, it's a little tight um, on the seats. Um, and I don't see a manual option, so I don't know if it's a duplex transmission in these. I'd have to do some research and find out. But uh, the interior feels nice, and it's, you know, got some carbon fiber and accents and stuff. Um, like I said, I think the seats would bother me. Uh, it's really low slung, but also, like a supercar, this also has a, what they call a carbon fiber monocoque tub. So the entire passenger cabin is uh, built of carbon fiber, and then they put aluminum extensions for the front of the car and the back of the car to support the engine and the front suspension and all that, um, which is how most supercars are built, like the Konus Egg um, that we, we show. Um, it's built in a similar fashion, um, although I think they use a lot more carbon fiber up front and in the back. But uh, very cool car, uh, very affordable for for what it is. Um, you can get some really cool supercar features for, for the price of what is a Corvette. So, pretty neat. Behind me is the uh, Koenigsegg uh, Gira RS. That's the one that made the world uh, production car speed record. Uh, I think the average is 280 miles an hour. Um, I'll uh, look that up, put the information down below. Um, pretty an amazing, pretty amazing car to see in person. Um, this is the actual car that made the run, and apparently I was told that it increased the worth of the car by about two million dollars. I believe it's already a two and a half million dollar car, so we're looking at almost a five million dollar car sitting behind us. Pretty wild.
cool thing is is the reflections because it's all done via projection. So the car actually gets the like actual reflections going on. That's pretty crazy. So here we're in Dodge and they've got a uh, drag strip uh, simulator for the uh, the Dodge Demon. So I want to hop in there and check that out. And see how that does. launch control I just wasn't thinking anyways that was cool that was a lot of fun um, I didn't actually see what my quarter mile time was oh, I'm a lame uh, but uh, that's cool see they got some cool stuff to do here I'm also starting to realize a lot of auto manufacturers make fake exhausts for example Ooh, fancy carbon fiber Orla exhaust, right? No, wrong. It's not even attached. Look at that. Well, the Camaro is pretty cool. Um, this one isn't the, the most special one they've got on the floor. The best one they've got is the one behind me, and that's the ZR1. if I'd be able to sit in this thing so I just I don't know just sat up here it was open and I walked right in um, yeah this car is cool I, I think this car is awesome um, it is a manual so it's got the right amount of pedals which I which I think is awesome um, the seats are very comfortable I like the side bolstering on these um, and the uh, the bottom bolstering seems to be uh, to fit well um, I'm gonna scoot the seat up a little bit I want to see what the clutch pedal feels like and then I'll check the shifter on this one so Alcantara uh, shifter, steering wheels wrapped in Alcantara. Alcantara, if you don't know, is just a certain type of fabric. It's like a suede fabric. It's pretty wild. Um, it feels really nice. Um, yep, the seats are Alcantara. They hold the Alcantara holds better than leather, especially for a racing application or a, or you know a high performance style uh, application. <laughs> Really had a good time uh, being able to check out all the cars. It's always a unique experience. Uh, as I said before, with the press days and stuff, you get a little more access than you do in a normal auto show. Um, I think my favorite car to get into today was probably, well, the ZR1 Corvette was pretty cool. I was glad to get into that one and kind of feel that one out. Um, and getting in the R8, that was a lot of fun. Um, I think you know, a good runner-up would be the uh, the 4C. Like I said, I've seen those on the road, and to kind of see one up close and in person, it was cool to, uh, cool to check it out and uh, see what was going on. Uh, overall, not a whole lot of performance vehicles here um, in this year's auto show here in Detroit. Uh, I've been told by others that it's more of a more of a truck year, an SUV year this year. So they haven't been the manufacturers are kind of moving into that segment uh, with their newer models. Um, but yeah, everything's been very good so far. I gotta go get some lunch. We uh, haven't eaten anything all day, so I need to go grab lunch, and then we come back and tear all our equipment out and go from there. Um, you guys have been watching Adventures in Motorsports. If you enjoyed it, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to put out more content uh, every chance we get. And as always, keep it on the edge of traction.